Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, nutrition, well-being, amazing events, and great people. I'm here with an amazing woman, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Beth Wardham, who's a, a doctor of acupuncture. Welcome, Beth. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. So how did you come about with acupuncture? Well, it's been a long journey. I, um, you know, started out in something completely different. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to be until I was 47. Yeah. So, um, but I started out on this pathway, you know, looking back with my, my kids. And my son is uh, 19 now, but um, he had a lot of issues when he was younger. And it, um, you know, we, we kind of hit a roadblock as far as traditional medicine was concerned. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. right. so we were looking for the alternative. Right. And, right. Uh, right. and actually, um, diet was right. our first intro. Must so be. I love, you know, what you do. And I think yeah. that's why, you know, we, we resonate so well sure. with each other, sure. you know, and, um, you know, I really do believe that nutrition is the key you know, to health. It's very vital part, sure. And, you know, what we put into our body is, you right. know, what our, our fuel. You right. You know, we are what we eat. Absolutely. Yeah, so, Absolutely. Um, you know, but it, and in Chinese medicine, they have a, a rich history of uh, focusing on the digestion as primary. Right. Um, in, in Chinese medicine, the spleen stomach is the um, meridian system that is um, responsible for digestion. Wow. And yeah. Can, yeah. can you share on your meridian man here yes. in terms of the points <laughs> of. Uh, yeah, uh, so this is our to meridian man. Uh -huh. And um, yes, yeah, spleen stomach you know, runs up here and, and it goes right through. The uh, abdomen, mm -hmm. and and traditionally, right. you know, you would you go through all the different meridians during the day sure. in the twenty four hour cycle. Sure. Um, but spleen stomach is in the center, and every meridian center, uh, every meridian comes back to the center, comes back to spleen stomach, right. and then goes out from interesting. there. Interesting. So, um, very so interesting. So digestion is always primary. So acupuncture is based on. It's energy. Mm -hmm. It's an energy pathway system mm -hmm. of the body, and you can you know see how the um, the meridians run here. They uh, begin and end in the hands and the feet, and um, quite fascinating. Yeah, yeah, very very fascinating. Um, there's yin and yang, and right. yin organs and yang right. meridians. The yin is more dense and right. Um, water based and the young is more heat and motion um, very very interesting you yeah. have a very very successful practice I remember when I went there I immediately felt a serenity and a calmness oh, as well as very professional yeah, yeah we um, just were, we're right on Main Street in Mount Kisco right where we call ourselves um, you can put, you want to put yeah, that I can down? Put okay ready a man could go down and you're, you're doing something <laughs> very uh, unusual in helping with people all mm -hmm. ages, with all pro and um, wanted to just share with my viewers what that is. Yeah, so we we have a holistic practice. We do, um, you know, we do acupuncture, but I also do body work. Mm -hmm. I do um, cupping, gua sha, massage, um, but we also treat the whole person. You know, so I, I uh, my partner uh, Michael Mullins mm -hmm. helps us with. Um, the more um, you know, nutrition and mm -hmm. the herbs and lifestyle counseling. Mm -hmm. He's a naturopath, and I think he helps us to really have a, a well-rounded practice. Right. Because I right. always say that you know, in, in acupuncture, I don't add anything to the body. I don't inject anything. I, the, the needles are just very fine, little tiny needles. I brought some. You know, so oh, I can wow. show you. Interesting. You know, you show you can, that. Yeah. You can see. This is, I don't know, if I took it wow. off, you wouldn't even be able to see it. It's as, as fine as a hair. Wow. And so, you know, really we should call them pins because right. they're not like a hypodermic needle. That's sure. what people think. Sure. So, you know, what, what we do is we're just focusing your own immune system uh -huh. to the area of concern. Very interesting. So, so we believe that life is holistic. 
you know, health is holistic. So, you know, and I work with, you know, practitioners and, you mm -hmm. know, that, that share my philosophy. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and that, and that's how, that's how you come to a greater health, you know, that, that it's not just what you, what you come to the office for, it's your whole life, you right. know, the stresses in your life, what you eat and your activity level and everything right. is a part and what you bring to the table. Sure. And then I help focus that. So uh, I look at it as a partnership, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, with, with my patients, you yeah. know, it's, it's a, not a, not a traditional doctor patient role. No, no. Yes, it's and more of a partnership. And you're there from the very beginning all the way through. You have a tremendous rapport with your patients, I hear. Yes, And uh, yes. they call you for all different issues, <laughs> not just specifically to do with acupuncture, but above and beyond that. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we like to think, um, you know, I like to guide, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, I, um, I may have, you know, certain modalities that worked really well for me, mm -hmm. or I've seen in other patients, you know, certain things that I think are important, but it may not be, fit into your lifestyle. Right. It may just not be possible. You know, that's just something that, um, you know, you just, you know, changing your diet is just not something you can do right now, or, sure. you know, a certain job that you have to do that you have to, you know, do certain things that, you know, it's hurting your back, but you got to get through it. So, right. Right. you know, we, we, I try to guide and coax and, you know, and, and you have to, um, you know, kind of go with your own guidance. Mm -hmm. So we work together to, mm -hmm. to make the best of, you know, what you have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and on that line, um, one of the things that I really am interested in and want to talk about is um, we're doing a lot more with uh, auricular acupuncture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And auricular acupuncture is really interesting. I, I brought an ear. <laughs> <laughs> auricular is ear. And, um, you know, what's, what's really interesting is that auricular acupuncture has been around for a long time. But it's not really been well understood about um, how it's worked or, or why it's worked. Mm -hmm. um, and we know anecdotally, you know, thousands of years, you know, it does work. Right. And we can see that um, people feel better and conditions do improve. And, and so we're just really starting to put all the pieces together. I, I brought... Brought this book. I brought another book. <laughs> so this is this is a really. If, if anyone is interested in how um, acupuncture, the new science of acupuncture, is getting explained, and and how we're um, seeing that the things that are working in practice right. um, actually make sense. Right. And right. and what we're finding is that we can trace back from conception. Uh -huh. So when the cells first divide, there's actually an image of the body that you can superimpose on them. Right. And you can follow through development um, how these cells have relationships. Interesting. And, and we can see in nature patterns get um, repeated, right. you know, fractals. Right. You know, and, and, and we see that these fractals are in uh, nature. And, and, and we have um, fractals in our body. We have these images in our body that, um, you know, we, we have them in our feet, we have them in our hands, and we have, you know, the, the shoulder looks a lot like the hip for a lot of reasons. The hand looks a lot like the foot for a lot of reasons. Interesting. That's and, fascinating. And we can treat that with right. acupuncture, all of these different images. And one of the really powerful ones is the ear. And we, um, and it's, and, and if you look at the ear, you can see this. <laughs> this is actually, it's an image of a, um, a baby in the mm -hmm. womb, mm -hmm. which is really, mm -hmm. which is really neat. Mm -hmm. And so we can treat, you know, by treating on the lobe, we right. treat the head. And then the spine is on this um, area here right. and the arm and, and then the internal organs here. Right. And, right. you know, the, it's... Um, it's hard to um, get your head around, but what, what really what, what it is, it makes sense, you know, because I know you're a science person. Very much so. And, and, Love and, science. And, and a lot of this seems woo-woo. Right. Right? Right. But it actually is good science because sure. you can see that these cells, you know, it looks like a head for a reason. It right. looks like a spine for a reason. Right. You know, the hand and the foot look sure. like each other for a reason. Sure. And so that, um, and then we can see scientifically, right. as these cells were dividing and growing in the womb, right. that these cells actually are related to the head. 
these cells actually are related to the spine. Fascinating. So, you Very know, I, I like to use humor. Oh, sure. And I, I say it's like this is Uncle Joe, yeah. you know. <laughs> and so if your back is hurting, you right. know, he's related to right. Aunt Mary that's in your back. And he's like, <laughs> hey, calm down. You know, like they, sure. they have a relationship. They talk sure. to each other. Very you interesting. Know, so, Very and interesting. That, um, and so auricular acupuncture is really taking off. And, and what I like about it, because I'm, I like to partner mm -hmm. with my patients, I like to give them tools. Sure. I like to, this is not about, you know, how great I am. Right. You know, I right. want everybody right. to have this information. Right. Sure. And um, so, so what we can do is ear seeds are mm -hmm. really taking off. Mm -hmm. And this is a way that we can stimulate the immune right. system. I call it like a GPS for your immune system. Interesting. Okay. So it's like, you know, I was getting here in Carmel. Right. I'm like, I have no idea where I am, but <laughs> turn right. Okay. Turn right. Turn right. So this is like a GPS for your immune system. Right. So you have low back pain. Sure. Okay. So this would be the point right here. You know, so you would be getting, you know, just with an ear seed and, and I'll have to explain it is a seed actually. Right. It's from a vicaria plant. Uh huh. And, and the vicaria is used in Chinese medicine mm -hmm. to move blood. Mm -hmm. So it, it helps to, it's moving, mm -hmm. you know, for these points. Right. I don't know if you can see it. They're very tiny. Right. Um, it's like a poppy out. seed. Yeah, so I don't know if you, um, if you can see that. But, um, it's yeah, it's a very yeah. tiny seed, and, it, and all it is is a piece of tape on the other side. <laughs> you know, it, it's sure. very low-tech, you sure. know, the things that we do. Sure. Um, and, and it is just, um, it, it just stays on the ear. So I would, and during the treatment, I would give a regular acupuncture treatment. We may put needles in your ear, but then when you leave, I would put the seeds in and it sure. helps keep the treatment going. Sure. And I like to sure. um, empower patients, you know, sure. that, you know, at home they can, you know, their shoulder starts acting up, you know, they can start to feel on their ear. You can kind of use the image as a guide. Right. And it doesn't have to be right on the spot, you know, where I would sure. needle, right. you know, in the general area. And you can actually feel around and feel what's tender. Sure. And even if you don't have a seed, you can massage it. Right. You know, you can just kind of get in and that, that place. And that specific orientation or point right. that uh, corresponds to a certain part in your body. Right. And you work with all people in terms of all ages, with all, all problems in terms of working with the energy that's present and just moving it around to accentuate the immune system and at its best that it possibly can be. Exactly. Uh, that's, exactly. that's what we do. <laughs> that's, that's all wonderful. it is. No, that's yeah, very a, simple. A very, very yeah. fascinating because mm -hmm. so many yeah. people go to medications as just uh, exclu exclusivity and as an RD and science-oriented nutritionist is very important to to know there's so many other things out there. So we have two minutes okay. to, to wrap up. So if okay. there's anything last you'd like to share with my viewers, well, I would just say that, you know, it is an alternative medicine, but it doesn't interfere with what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's the, one of the powers of acupuncture is that you can continue your medications. We work with medical doctors that we're just accentuating your own body's natural healing process. Right. And, and your body is going to be able to do with it what it can. So we integrate that's very great. well that way. Oh, that's um, great. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, so remember that when we eat well and we feel great, it's something we want to do for the rest of our life. Remember, moderation and balance is key. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great night.